What's up guys, it's Clever Techie. In this video, we're going to learn how to organize our bookmarks in a browser. And I'm going to use Firefox, but this can be easily done in any other browser. First of all, this uh, organizing technique is based on the same exact concept which we use in the organizing of the files and folders. So if you watch that video, this will be very easy to follow. But even if you haven't, it's still going to be pretty straightforward. So first of all, number one step of organizing the bookmarks in a very efficient way is to create the most important categories that are applied to your personal life. For example, you can see how I've created my categories here. Health, career, personal finance, GD, which stands for general education, fun, security, miscellaneous, cooking. And I've numbered all these folders by their respective priority. So health is the number one priority in my life. And uh, that's why I put it as number one. And uh, then followed by career, personal, and so forth. When you create these folders, just uh, think of a topic that's very important in your life and just just as, as something general like health. I mean, health is pretty important to everybody's life, I'm sure. But you can create whatever categories that you wish and uh, go ahead and number them in their priority, which uh, in, in the order that you want. Next, I have this folder here. It's, and it's the folder called folders. So let me show you here. If I go to bookmarks, show all bookmarks, I've created a folder here, which is named folder under the main bookmarks toolbar category. Under this, uh, under the folder, folders folder, I have all these subfolders. And these uh, are the, the, these are all empty folders. Now, what are these? These are basically uh, any kind of uh, category information that you'll find online will fall under these categories. Either you're reading an article, you know, you found a book that you want to read at Amazon, you want to download some software. So, and um, I think websites is the most used folder, uh, the most frequently used folder because, you know, you find a new cool blog or something like that, you want to bookmark it, bam, you put it in your um, your websites folder under health, for example. So anyway, let me show you why I created these empty folders here. Because you're not actually going to put information inside of these folders. Instead, you're going to, you're going to select all of these. Oops. Hold on. Okay, just select first one hold shift click on the last folder right click copy to copy all these folders and then go through each and one of these categories you should have all these created uh, these folders created here like I talked about and uh, paste them inside every one of these folders so we just copied these folders again and we're going to paste them under each and every one of these main categories that we have here so you can see that these all of these folders are under health see articles here downloads websites etc and uh, go ahead and once you're done with that we are pretty much done with them uh, with, with the most important technique here so I'm gonna go and exit out and I'm gonna show you something here for example if i'm my uh, if i stumble upon some kind of a health article that's important to me i can just first of all i can just put a website in this in this websites under health so next time i'm thinking about reading some kind of a health article i'll just access i know exactly what the article is by opening up a websites folder in under health section and uh, articles, I chose to organize all these articles by subcategories because there's just so many, uh, 
there's just so many health related topics out there that you know it's it's a lot easier not to have articles all in one place so you can do the same thing you can create subfolders under these main folders here and you can even add additional folders that are related only that is only specific to the to the main category for example markets i mean that's only related to health like markets where i get health food so i, I save them all here under the markets folder and which i just created also i have a fitness folder which is a subcategory of health so and as you can see here i haven't pasted all these uh subfolders yet but if i get interested in fitness so much that i want to explore it more then i'm going to of course go to my bookmarks go to my folders copy all of these all of these folders here copy go to health fitness and i'm going to paste all these uh organizational folders here so that i can better organize my uh my fitness content if it's getting out of hand so i can just put that inside the articles and then do this video here here uh, youtube channel i can put it here and uh, another article so bam this fitness folder is very neatly organized now now that i go here articles i can just access all these articles and if i want to watch that video here it should be here there we go there's a video here so you can just experiment with it if you don't know where you're going to save a specific uh, type of information you can always create a miscellaneous folder and just create some random subcategories here it doesn't really need to be neatly organized this is how i have mine here and um, let me show you something else under finance for example if it gets a little uh, Finance is a very general topic. So, for example, if I'm interested in investing, as you can see, I have a lot of other folders here besides the main organizational ones. So, I would go to invest, uh, I would create a subcategory called investing. And investing is also a general category. So, I have a bunch of other subfolders under investing. And so, you can create these, uh, you can keep creating these subfolders, but in the end when you when you know you really want to explore a specific uh, topic for example precious metals if i want to go after silver say then i could also uh, paste those uh, organizational folders under that specific uh, topic so you can see how i've uh, combined the categories and subcategories and uh, the organizational folders together to create this very nice organizational way to quickly access my information. So if I wanted to, if I'm thinking about silver and then uh, I can just go to investing. Well, first I'll go to finance, investing. I know it's precious metal, silver. Then I, I would want to look up some reports and I would just, you can't really see this here, but um, let me expand it. Hold on, let me do this again. Investing, precious metals, silver, reports, and then I can just access all these links here uh, under the reports of silver. So just play around with it, see what works for you. You don't really have to follow this kind of an organizational folder uh, exactly. You can create your own, but I found that most content on the internet f falls under falls under these categories here but you can also create your own and use subcategories if the topic gets too general and you want to break it down to another subcategory so that's pretty much it i hope this was helpful this was clever techie signing out see you guys next time